<laughs> Hi, Vicky. This is Kerry from Lee. Fantastic that you're able to join me this afternoon. Uh, we're so disappointed that you couldn't be here with us this month as we had planned. All right. Thank you. Look, in your book, which I'll give a plug for, here we are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you. Justice Doing at the Intersections of Power. Um, which is a great Thank read. You. Look, um, also in your book, you talk about holding the clients at the heart of our supervision um, and that supervisors also need to um, hold ethics as well. So how do supervis supervisors embed ethics and this client at the centre of their, their supervision practices? Well, that's a, I mean, it's a great question. I mean, I think that's a, the heart of a lot of my work. A lot of, steam, a lot of teams, I would say most teams, become staff-centred if you don't have a supervisor that's willing to have, and a team that has the moral courage and the ethical heart to actually keep clients at the center. Um, you know, if staff team meetings um, become about our relationships with each other and our frustrations with the work and our frustration with the organization with measurable yeah. outcomes, I mean, I just interrupt that stuff. It's like, where is the client in this? That's a, one question, a simple, where's the client in this? And usually they're not in the room. Right. And if they're not in the room, we're not doing this. So having collaborative agreements that we're gonna all collectively take responsibility to make sure that clients are at the heart of all the conversations and work that we have. I mean, though, like there's many practices we can have, but yeah. it's gonna require creating cultures of critique, holding each other to account, because yeah. it's not business as usual to actually be client-centered. Yeah.